All right, what's up, y'all? So today we're going to be talking about what to expect on your first day of work for IT help desk or computer technician, whatever you want to call it. All right, so once you get seated at your cubicle or wherever they got you sitting at, you'll either get a laptop or a desktop. I have a desktop. Um, programmers have laptops and desktops, but whatever. So basically, you'll be set up with your either your supervisor or the next best thing to the supervisor, shout out to Steve, because um, he was the one who helped me. So basically, he set me up. Um, I signed in with a temporary password on my computer. Then I created one that I would remember after that. Uh, he set me up with my email, which was like my email, and I created a password. And I signed into that, which is on this screen right here. And with that being done, he also gave me the links to the ticketing system that we got over here. And also we had another link to um, unlock and reset passwords or whatever, but that got messed up. So we ended up getting, uh, I got hooked up with Active Directory. You should know what Active Directory is. And in Active Directory, you could uh, reset passwords and unlock people there too. So that's right here. Basically your supervisor will assign you the tickets or if you see one new and you think you can handle it, then you just take over it. That's what I do anyways. So, uh, like right now, I got about, what, eight tickets in my queue and like half of them are for, uh, and half of them are for new users. And yeah, so once you're set up with Active Directory and everything, you'll be good to go. And you don't just get, you kind of get thrown out there, but not all the way. Like I was um, shadowing Steve. So we would work on our tickets together. And as far as what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, I know for me, <laughs> I'm either answering the phone. And when I'm answering the phone is either they're asking me a simple question or they're locked out or need a password reset. But since this is the pandemic, people used to at first just like walk down here and say they need help when they're really supposed to put in the ticket first. Remember y'all, to keep stress off of you, if people keep bothering you about things, make sure they put in a ticket. Because if you put in a ticket, then you'll be able to get to them when you can. You know what I'm saying? So, um, either way, most of the uh, problems that you'll get will either be, like I say, password resets, unlocking accounts, um, or software installs, really. Um, I got this, and this has like a bunch of software on it that I might need to install for different people in different... Um, in different departments at my job. How you doing? Hey, if you, um, it's a quick question. For about 30 seconds, it'll turn off and then turn it back on. Got you. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. You're welcome. And just like that, he could have emailed me for that because I took care of that this morning. But anyways, uh, yeah, so most things, like I'll use this and uh, download software. And, um... Yeah, like I said, um, if you're shadowing somebody, you should be able to shadow somebody because you're not going to just know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may know how to do things, but you're not just going to, like, first day, oh, I need a uh, Rumba installed. Okay, let me go install Rumba. No, you'll go up there with um, either your supervisor or your coworker who's been here before you, and he'll walk you through the steps. And if you're like me, don't be afraid to take notes. Like... Since my first day, I think this might have been my first notebook full of notes that I still go back and look at sometimes. Notes, full of notes, notes, notes. So don't be afraid to take notes because it's going to be some things that you're not going to remember right off the bat because it's going to be like steps to some things and things like that. Also, um, don't be afraid to ask questions either. Like if you don't understand, ask a question or ask them to be more specific because that's the type of person I am. I need like details, like do you, you need this specific thing or this specific thing? So don't be afraid of that either. Um, and yeah. Also, I do like hard, some hardware, hardware replacement. Like uh, let's say if somebody didn't beat their keyboard to death or keyboard don't have the letters on it or whatever, I can replace keyboards, mice, uh, you know, things like that. So they will show you like the steps or they should show you the steps. Also, don't be afraid to use Google or Reddit. I use Reddit. Um, there's a community called Computer Text. So 
that'll give you information you can google things like and once you get the gist of everything you'll start noticing like if you keep getting like certain errors you'll know what it's from and it'll be a uh, easier to fix and yeah um i knew i almost forgot also setting up new users now i work with the network team for that matter of fact i work with the network team on certain things because they got to do things on their side but when it comes to a new user if you're like us now we didn't upgrade all our computers so these are the ones we got now the uh 50 50s and i think it's 30 50s all the newer ones let me show you all yeah oh 50 80s these are the newest ones so you got the type c connector whatever and these are the ones that we were using before these big ones so Optiplex 580s, GX, whatever's. Okay, so that's the one, the big ones that you saw in the corner. Those are the old ones that we replaced for people, and we're replacing them with the smaller one, smaller new ones. Because if you don't know, Windows 7 is obsolete. These come with Windows 10, but when it comes to setting up new users, we'll get like a um. A new user form. Let me see if I can find it for y'all. We'll get a ticket. Yeah, matter of fact, I'll show you the whole example. So we'll get a ticket saying it's a new user. And they'll have to put in, let me show I can see this. They'll have to put in a work form with the they name, employment type, whether they're permanent or not, their division, user, uh, title, their start date, and everything. So they're supposed to give it to us about two weeks ahead of time so we can have time to do things. So basically, let's say they don't have no computer, no phone at their desk. So I'll go in the back, set up a new computer, get the computer number, get a computer number to network, and they do what they got to do on their side. Thank you for calling the help desk. Pretty good. Okay, I'll be up. So we're still getting issues with this uh, guys who new user monitors not coming on for some reason all of a sudden, but whatever. Let me hurry up and make this quick though. So um, like I said, we'll get the computer number. I'll get the computer number, give it the network, and they'll do whatever they do on their side. I'll like log into it a few times so it can have all the programs it needs. And then um, once it's like that, take it upstairs. Networking creates their user profile and everything like they did for me. And then, uh, yeah, like new user, they get new keyboard, new mouse, because you know it's COVID, so they definitely need a new keyboard and new mouse. Uh, a monitor if they don't got one. If they're in a certain department, they need double screens to do things like I got. So that's really about it. That's what you can expect. Um, of course, you're going to be nervous or whatever, but you don't have to. I mean, you're going to be nervous, but you should have some help and uh like i said don't be afraid to ask questions i could remember like on my first week it had to have been like my first or second day um the fourth floor which is the top people the conference room needed something with the smart board and i was like uh okay and i was up there trying to figure it out but i'm like do y'all not know this is my first day so my director came up there and helped him but yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to keep making videos like this because I don't see a lot of help desk people on YouTube. It's like me, um, IT career questions. He helped me when I was getting uh, started and also cave tech or something like that. He kind of helped me too. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw my sense and make it uh, a little easier. It's a wide open lane. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe with any questions. I'm going to make more videos like this to help people in the IT world. And yeah, you know, I got some more videos. I guess I can come up with some more IT uh, topics or whatever. So yeah, I'm gone.